Here are 10 of my favorite free resources for motion designers in no particular order, starting now. Storyboarder, that's what it's called, is my favorite storyboarder tool. It's free for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it's really nice because what you can do is you can both draw in the program to make storyboards, or you can print out a template like this. You can print out a storyboard worksheet um, of however you want it laid out however many rows, however many columns, and draw on it with pencil. And then you can take a picture of it with your phone and it will automatically cut out the frames for you and import them into the program like this. It's really cool the way that it works and you can add in dialogue and action and notes in, in the program and rearrange the frames. I just really like the way it works. It works with my flow. And then you can just export your frames as GIFs or you can export them to Premiere or as a PDF. Um, they're really easy to share with clients. It, it's really seamless the way it works with Photoshop. It's just a really well thought out program. And then there's some really crazy features like you can generate 3D shots for you. Like if you, if you look here, like if you type in like like man standing it will like make that scene i've never used that part it really scares me that kind of technology i don't think people should have that much power but it's there if you want to use it um, so definitely check this out if you need a storyboarding tool it's very cool so creative market is a site where you can buy stuff brushes and textures and fonts and just really all kinds of great stuff but every week they have a section of six free goods that you can download if you have an account and they change every week you get six free goods so this week when i'm making this video these are the free goods you can see there's a font and some graphics and and a texture brush two brushes and some social media stuff so sometimes this stuff's really great sometimes it's a hit or a miss but it's really fun to come on here every week and see what kind of goodies i got to download okay so maybe i'll grab these procreate brushes this week and you can just kind of build up a little library of stuff that you download for free i look forward to it every monday see what i can grab coolers is great i use it all the time to generate color palettes you just hop on you click spacebar to cycle through color palettes you can remove colors you can add new colors like this you can lock certain colors that you like in place and then uh, cycle through new colors you can um, easily copy colors to your clipboard you can copy the hex codes or you uh, we can look at all these shades like this or you can look at the hex codes or the rgbs the cmyks you can do things like grab color palettes from images if you if you have an image that you like and you want to generate a color palette from that you can do things like look at colorblind modes for accessibility reasons you can explore popular color palettes that people make which are always really nice if you need inspiration you can save your own color palettes so you have a library if you want to come back to it so i have all these really nice color palettes that i use all the time it's just a really great site and it works really well it has really good ux ui i love it it's it's my go-to all the time so the internet archive is a great site on its own. It's a nonprofit library of millions of free books, movies, software, music, websites, and more. You might be familiar with the Wayback Time Machine where you can visit a website at any point in time. You can go back, you can see what Google looks like in the 1960s or whatever. But what I'm showing you is this internet archive of book images. They got over 5 million of these old archival images that you can use in your projects so let's say you want to search something let's say i want to look up like um these old archival photos of cactus okay so you can search for cactus 
and you'll get all these results of these old archival cactuses, okay? And you can search for a license, okay? So I wanna search for something that has no known copyright restrictions, okay? So now all of these these things, I, they are not known to have copyrights, okay? So I can use this in a personal project or I could search by commercial use allowed, okay? And there's no matches, for, okay? No cactuses are you allowed for commercial use, but you know, you can you can play with this stuff. And uh, there's, there's millions of stuff here that you're allowed to use. Really, really great tool if you like old stuff like I do. So coming in hot from the BBC, we got tons of sound effects that are free to use for personal use, I believe. So let's just check this out. Okay, we got some, we got 900 animal sounds, all right? Like that, this weird donkey, I don't know, whatever. You can check out anything you want. You want a laser? We got laser sounds. Wow, very cool stuff here. So there's tons of great sounds on here. There is some licensing rules here. Basically, I think what it says is they are free to use for personal stuff. And if you want to use it on a, on a commercial project, you gotta email them, something like that. Read it again, do your own research here. Yes, I'm enjoying this stuff. A lot of great sounds here. So lately I've been using this site VEDEO to really easily put subtitles on my videos. So if you like to put subtitles on your videos for accessibility reasons, like I do, it's this is great. It automatically puts subtitles on your videos and it works very well. So you just upload your video and you can click on subtitles and it automatically generates subtitles at the right time and it does a very accurate job. So you can style things and you can choose how long the subtitles stay up for and you can just move stuff around. You can edit the text, the fonts, the you can put in different elements if you want, like sound waves and emojis and all that stuff and filters and you can draw on it. I just like to use it for the subtitles, keep it simple. But this is so much easier than trying to create your own subtitles in Premiere Pro or After Effects or something like that because uh, it's all automatic. It works crazy fast and it's super accurate, super easy. And then you can just export your video. Um, it's pretty quick too. So on the free version, you just get some kind of watermarked version like this. It puts a little watermark at the top. And then if you wanted to pay a monthly fee or whatever, you can just get a high res version without the watermark. Great tool, highly recommended if you're doing a lot of subtitles. As a motion designer, you're probably going to have to mock stuff up on screens a lot. Well, Facebook design has made all of these really nice templates and they keep them updated that you can just download and use as mockups. So they have just all of these tons of great iPhones and tablets and computers and watches and blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is a really nice resource if you don't feel like making your own or whatever, you can just go on here and grab any of these designs. It's really nice. You can see they keep it updated and yeah download these and read their disclaimer whatever you are unorganized you're a, a messy little animator this is a great place to start on this website i'm not going to read it out loud because then i'll get demonetized probably but you can go on here, you can download folder structures, how to name your projects, um, and a little After Effects script that will automatically make folders for you. You can see how other industry professionals organize their files. Um, this was a really good place for me when I had no idea what I was doing, when I had no idea how to organize my folders or, or anything. Um, I think that that it's kind of a little bit intense. Um, there's a lot going on here, but if you just have no idea at all how to organize anything, you have no idea what you're doing, it kind of it gives you a little bit of guidance, a little bit of direction on what to do. So it's a good place to start. Pexels is probably my favorite site for stock photos and videos that you can use for free in any kind of project, personal and commercial. Um, the quality of 
of free videos especially is pretty good um, since they are all free to use. Um, I come here a lot when I just don't have a budget to buy things um, since I do need a lot of free videos for the kind of stuff that I'm doing on social media, etc. Um, the search filters are pretty good. There are a lot of good collections that people make. Um, so it's just a really nice resource. You can go on here and read the licensing to see what you're allowed to do. You're pretty much allowed to do whatever you want except resell the videos. And finally, motionbynick.com slash freebies. On this guy's website, he is a motion designer. He makes uh, YouTube tutorials and stuff like that. And he has a part of his website that's dedicated to just giving away free project files and presets and stuff like that. And it's just crazy. I don't know why he would be willing to give away so much good free content. So you can just go on here and if you want to download any of these project files or these free presets, so let's say I want to grab this text animator preset, you can just click here and click to download this preset. So if I want to download it, I can just type in zero dollars and you just click I want this and you can just click get. And if you're really crazy, like for whatever reason, you could just type in an amount. Like, I don't know why you would do this, but you could just type in any amount here. Let's just say $5,000. And you could just say, I want this. And then you just type in your credit card information. And then you just pay this guy $5,000 for whatever project file was on here. And then you just give him that money or download it for free, they're all free. All right, so those were 10 of my favorite free resources for motion designers. Let me know what you think, and if you have any of your own free resources that you would like to share with the class, please leave them in the comments below, and we will all check them out. Thank you for watching.